Okay, here's the newest model so far. I'm calling it Mr. Toasty. I just happen to have this fryer that I've had for years. I used to cook pizzas in my oven with this. It had a handle. I cut the handle off, and I can't believe how perfectly it fits this tin that I had purchased up prior for this heater. <laughs> Look at that, huh? I mean, that looks like it was made for the factory for this baby. So, the theory is, the bottom will heat up from the sand. I'm going to try cooking a pizza in here. I just don't know what it'll do actually yet. And then I'm going to get an airflow going over the top. Uh, working on that system now. And then there's going to be a base down here with a, a fan. So there's going to be another box underneath that blows all the air up through the whole system. And then it's going to come out the top lid and it's going to be a heater and a stove. Here we go, round two. Here's the new coil for Mr. Toasty. <laughs> I condensed the coil smaller because the can's smaller. Now this can is six gallons compared to the other can and the first prototype is 10 gallons. So that means this will get hotter and I've actually compressed it more. So that means it'll even get hotter. So I might run it at 510 watts instead of 850 or 670. I have these 170 watt intervals. I can only work with in this particular uh, voltage system I have going, which I'm going to get a diagram of that also. Now these connections here are not adequate. They're working. I mean, they're adequate for now for what I'm doing, but they're not proper. They need to be welded with the right heat. And I'll look into what wire. Now I'm encasing it in cement and that seems to be holding up okay because this silver solder has a melting point of 430 degrees Fahrenheit from what I've read and that's way too low but I have wrapped with copper wire and it's going to be encased in cement so it pretty much can't go anywhere the solder could melt but it's just encapsulated okay again here's Mr. Toasty here and this is the diagram of what I've, my concept Here's the two can system with the coil, compressed coil I have made already. And then I'm going to build this housing underneath out of aluminum diamond plate I have. With a computer fan here, air coming in. The air will flow through holes. There'll be a big hole here actually. Then there'll be holes on the bottom of the exterior can to let the air, cool air come in. And then it becomes hot as it comes in contact with the interior sand can. Flows up around the can. And then I'm, here's where I'm coming up with a, a, some kind of a cover to get the air to flow over. I'm going to have a lid on top of the of this, which I don't have. I'll probably have to make one because this is a, a 14 inch panel or something. Um, and then I'll just make a lid if I need to. The air will flow over kind of like an oven is what I'm trying to hoping to create get the hot air flowing over the top and the sand from underneath and then it'll come out some other holes here and then out the uh, final the lid at the top the, all the hot and that'll be a heater so you can either cook and heat or just heat and or whichever so it'll probably have some flaws but that's the first prototype I'm working on